Hello good day viewers, this tutorial is for the kids. Let me show you a very simple way to find the square root of non-perfect square numbers applying prime factorization. And I'm going to give you only one example. Suppose we want to find the square root of 45. We are going to perform a successive division of this 45 using only prime numbers. 2 is the smallest prime number, but it cannot go into 45 without remainder. And the next one is 3. So our 45 is here, but I know 3 can go into 45 15 times. Another prime number, 3. Can go into 15 how many times? 5. Next prime number is 5. One time, right? So what we have is 3 times 3 times 5, which is equal to 45, right? So if square root of 45 is given to you, just say it is the same thing as the square root of what? 3 times 3 times what? 5. But we know that 3 times 3 is 9, right? This is 9 times what? 5. But square root of 9 is 3. A number you can multiply by itself to give you 9 is 3. And from here, if you like, you can take... 3 times 3 as 3 squared. Therefore, uh, square root of 3 squared, square root will cancel uh, that power of 2. So this is equal to square root of 9 is 3, but we don't have square root of 5, unless if you want to round it up. So you leave it as square root of 5, which implies that square root of 45 is the same thing as 3 root 5, because 45 is non-perfect square number. If it is a perfect square number like uh, 36, you're going to get a whole number. So let me give you that one as bonus. So successive division of this 35, 36, sorry. I think 2 can go in here 18 times, 2 here I think 9 times, and uh, 3 here 3 times, 3 here 1 time. Can you see we have 2 times 2 which is 2 squared? times 3 times 3 which is 3 squared if you take the square root of this this powers of 2 will cancel this square root leaving only 2 times 3 which is equal to 6 therefore square root of 36 is equal to 6 thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues bye bye